Have you ever wanted to manually add data that you've collected outside of JotForm into JotForm tables? Let me show you how to create a blank table. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly, and creating a blank table can be helpful in many different ways. So let me show you how. Up in the top where it says My Forms, I'm gonna click here and we're going to go to My Tables. From here, we're gonna click the green Create Table button and we can choose how we want to do this. Do we want to start with a blank table? Do we wanna create a template or do we wanna import data? For this, we are going to start with a blank table. Now we need to name our table. I'm gonna call this one Survey Data create table and our table is officially created the great thing about this is you can manipulate this the exact same way that you do a normal jot form table so we can see that we already have name email and notes we can also add rows and columns so i'm going to go ahead and add one row let's go ahead and add Now, because we created this table from scratch, it's currently not connected to a form. That means in order to access this data, you're going to wanna to come in the exact same way that we came in, up at the top and then tables. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a form to use for future purposes, you can absolutely do that by clicking on the form button here and then viewing the form and grabbing the link that way. We can also assign the form and edit the form and we can also auto delete submissions. And this exact same dropdown is available by the three dots over here. Form, view, assign, edit, and auto delete. Now the last thing I wanna mention, whenever you create a blank table like this, the data that you input manually does not count towards your submission limit. And it's as simple as that. So if you have any questions about creating your own blank table, let us know and I'll see you next time.